when patients come through our office, when they their their first encounter with us, we provide them with information about the American Cancer Society and the wellness community, which is now the cancer support community. There are no peers. The wellness community, the cancer support community, um, is, is is really a standalone entity. They're, they're, they have no competition at that level, and they do a very good job of it. Dr. Villar is he's he's a very special doctor. I've I've never had someone take the time and explain all the options like he did. And he really made me feel like he had my best interest at, at heart. When I sit down with cancer patients, I do my best to educate them, not only that you've got cancer, but here's what the disease is. Here are the implications of the disease. Here's how the disease behaves. This is what you can expect out of it. Paul brings that sensitivity to his patients that many physicians just naturally don't have, and Paul naturally has. He has that sensitivity to the human side of cancer. We all know that Paul is extremely intelligent, and we all know how dedicated and passionate he is about his work. I really got to know Paul when we uh, worked on the Gamma Knife together. He had that building built, and um, created the uh, program and created the department. I know he spends a great deal of amount of time educating his patients and he wants, he wants them to understand what they're going to experience. To have your radiation oncologist have that sensitivity towards what you're going through, I mean, how more wonderful can that possibly be? We're really grateful to Paul Miller for his dedication and his working with, joining in with the cancer support community so together we can accomplish so much more. I decided to get some inspiration and go online and reread the Hippocratic Oath. And this is something that I would like to share. I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science and that warmth Sympathy and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. And I believe that Paul lives that oath every single day. And we are blessed to have him in our community and in our lives. His staff is fabulous there. I don't, they, they all made me feel like I was going to get through this. It was, it was a very difficult process to go through, the radiation. It was very painful. And they were very compassionate, everyone at the office. Um, you know, the, I think the, I, I'm thrilled when, when they have the uh, um, uh, Survivor's Day and, and when they do ver various events for the community. I mean, I, I think those are really important, and I'm glad that they do th those outreach programs like that. Dr. Miller, I just want to thank him for his contribution to my wellness and to giving me hope and a chance. And uh, things look really good, so thank, thank you, Dr. Miller. You know, from my perspective, I, I, I kind of have this personal vendetta against cancer. And um, so being honored, I suppose, is, is a recognition that, that uh, I must be doing something right. But I, I, I'm grateful and I'm, I appreciate it.